Welcome to the Cold War Museum in Vent Hill, Virginia. A small little place inside of an old barn where you'll find artifacts from different areas and events of the Cold War. There you see my son checking out and using a Geiger counter. And if you heard the noise there, he was finding some radiation in those knobs. Here we have some pictures of the old duck and cover routine. And Murphy's Laws of Combat here. This was actually on the door of the restroom. If the enemy is in range, so are you. Now this is pretty neat. This is a camera assembly of one of the U-2 spy planes. Now, one of the famous U-2 incident where Francis Gary Powers was shot down over the Soviet Union, he would have had a camera um, installation like that. And of course, there's a large display here to Mr. Powers' U-2 incident in 1960 when he was shot down over the Soviet Union and imprisoned for two years. Now, his son, Francis Gary Powers Jr., was integral into the founding of this museum more than a decade ago. There's a lot of different artifacts, literature, everything from the Soviet Union and from the U.S. here. And that nice portrait of the missile hitting the U-2 plane. Of course, a poster, a Tom Hanks movie. This here, missile booster, is what a what housed a surface-to-air missile, like what took down the U-2. And there was a sign that said, no photographs allowed. My son, a sign used to be by the Berlin Wall. Here's a bunch of stuff that you would have found in a home fallout shelter back at the height of the Cold War. Instructions on how to build one. Here we got some memorabilia. The SR-71 Blackbird. Another very famous spy plane. Here's some film SR-71 took of Washington, D.C. that you could examine with a magnifying glass. Some interesting Q&A here. Really nice museum here in Vent Hill, Virginia. Next, the building that the museum is in has been used since World War II, 1943, as a radio listening post for many trans missions listened to here from Nazi Germany and the Empire of Japan. All kinds of old radio equipment. There's what the place looked like in 1943. Somebody's mom was seen in a photo there. Different artifacts from the era. Morse cold. The building today. Some then and now photos from yesteryear at the top. Lots of different memorabilia. Here's Olympic type stuff. And of course, a picture of the famous Miracle on Ice when young Team USA beat the Soviet Union in the 1980 Winter Olympics up in Lake Placid, New York. A lot of different uniforms up here. This is the second floor of the museum. Even some things here on the moon landing. Model of Apollo 11. Picture there, signed by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Pretty cool. So many, so much to see in such a small place here. Um, wasn't able to spend too much time here. I'm here with my five-year-old son. And, of course, he's unable to read all of the items here. 
some Soviet and German medals, uh, AK-47 um, construct drawing there, East Germany uniform, pretty cool camo pattern. This, I believe, was a Soviet uniform. Yes. Summer field dress. Interesting uh, coveralls to the left there. Now, the Cold War wasn't just with Russia. Red China, too. The bamboo curtain. This was a mold of Mao's ear. The newspaper boy's nickel. A spy ring discovered in Brooklyn. And what, go back and hit the pause button on some of these, these articles here so you can read them. As of course, I can't go into all the details in such a short video. So hopefully you take a pause in the video, read some of the literature there, especially about Mao's ear, and come visit this little museum.